welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. One, two, three, look at me. I can't hear my beautiful voice. Why can't you hear it? Oh, you're probably turned down. Oh, did you do that on purpose? Uh, on uh, purpose? No. So, uh, it's very exciting. Uh, if you don't know, deaf. I still we're doing... Um, what do you mean? Uh, uh, it's you're, totally deaf. You're pointing at me like I would do it. That's your fault. Just turn your headphones up. No, they are up. It's the... the Okay, there. There, there, there. There you there. go. You turned stuff. Okay. <laughs> We're doing the podcast live oh, in Breast know. Balls Beach, Florida. I don't like it. At the West Palm Improv. The West August. Harry Palm. <laughs> the August 23rd. It's going to be awesome. It is getting full. Uh, just so people know, we will be meeting everyone after the show. People have asked us that. I didn't say anything about that. Well, I will be. Well, I am um, the personality champ, actually, so yeah. I probably should. You know what? You can really make a determination <laughs> for yourself if you're at that show. <laughs> personality so, champs do it anyways. Yeah, personality champ. <laughs> um, make sure you uh, you get your tickets. Also, the Irvine Improv, we're doing your mom's house live October 8th. It's going to go down. Don't sweat it. This is the one we rescheduled. If you did have tickets to the last one, they did not transfer. That's something we just found out. Um, and the reason that they didn't transfer is because they're dumb. But Wow. Um, wow. Okay. Why wouldn't you do that? So, it's pretty sensible. I, yeah. They Anyways. refunded people and then yeah. you just have to rebuy them. That's what they're doing. So October 8th, Irvine Improv, your mom's house, live. Um, I'm shooting a special September 16th in Denver. Uh, the first show is sold out. The second show has about 150 tickets left. So if you want to go, this is probably the last week they'll be available. A um, couple shows that have been added, just so you know. I'm doing the Brea Improv for one night, September 13th. So that's two nights or three nights before I shoot the special. I'm doing the Fox Theater in Oakland uh, two nights before the special. And uh, the week before, I'm in Nebraska, Midwest City and Springfield, Missouri, all leading up to the special. After that, the uh, my tour continues. If you go to TomSegura.com slash tour, you can see all the dates there. Toronto, uh, Ann Arbor, Indianapolis. It just goes on and on. Of course, New York City is now on sale. Jew Dork Titties. Um, I always feel it necessary to explain to the Toronto people that because of the way that the uh, festival set up the links... When you go to my page, if you go to buy like Toronto tickets and you hit like find tickets, it, it finds you a festival pass. Oh, jeez. So you actually have to scroll down and go headliner ticket. And that's oh, the individual geez. ticket to my show. It's just really annoying. So uh, I've had to explain people on Instagram and on Twitter, you know, a hundred times how to do that. It's just uh, something they didn't really think through. Uh, this song, by the way, is Easy, produced by Chris Pritham. How about that? Pritham. Pritham, yeah. You said Nebraska. I'm thinking nerd Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's a better one out there, but... Nerd brass. Nerd breastka? Yeah! Dude, that was horrible. <sighs> you have no idea what you just did to people. That was horrible. <laughs> Why would you do that into the mic? That was horrible. Because I've never done it before. Oh, I just you, wanted to try it. You completely blew it out. <laughs> Say I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. God. I just wanted to see what that felt like. God. I've never Mom. <laughs> Mom. 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 Why <laughs> did you do that to me? <laughs> I've never sneezed on this show. A million people just asked that question. <laughs> uh, I'm I know sorry. You... I love you. I'm Where sorry. are you going to be? All right. Um, hog tits. With you, the 23rd, and West Palm, Harry Palm, b- bitch. September 22nd and 23rd, St. Louis Tits, Mom Zuri, at Herium Comedy Club. And then October 3rd, Nashville, Nadsville, Tennessee. Yeah. That's good? Yeah. Nadsville, Tennessee. At Zanies? Zanies, come on, you club. That's good. October 4th, 
Charlotte, North Carolina. It's a great one. It's, of course, it's Charlotte yep. at the Comedy Zone. And then October 8th, I'm with you doing YMH live in Sperm Vine. Wait, is Charlotte a one-nighter? Yeah. Or, oh, okay. Yeah. October 4th. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah, or? of course. Tickets are now at ChristinaPOnline.com. Or you can still do Thousand Ranch. That's still good, too. Do you like big tits? <laughs> okay. Go see Christina do a stand-up. Good now Lord. we're talking. Come on, dude. Um, what are you trying to do to me? It's exciting. That's my the the special of my special. The title of my special. Do you like big tits? Yeah, it's good Show name. me how those big tits fart. It's a good name. Mushy purples. You were voting for mushy purples. I was hard voting for yeah. it. Yeah. The agents and the managers don't like that one. No? <laughs> I like it a lot. Do you like big tits? Do you like big tits? <laughs> Do you like big tits? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Is that good? All right. Oh, I added a second show in Fartco. I'm going to Fartco. Where they film the TV show? That's your favorite show. I know. I'm going to do it. I added a second show there. So just letting people know. Is that in North Dakota? Yeah. I guessed. Do you know that? Wow. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All I know is like, it's definitely not LA, so I don't have to care. There you go. I did. I don't want to be knowledgeable of the world. It's a good attitude. (laughs) Good attitude. (laughs) And you did Amazon, right? I didn't do Amazon. Please shop through our Amazon banner. It's very easy to do. All you do is go to your mom's house podcast.com and you do the shopping you would normally do on Amazon after you click our banner. It gives a little kickback to the show. We also have a UK version and we have a Canadian version. Canada. In Canada. My birthplace. If you live in Canada, you can shop through our Amazon.ca banner and it supports the show. Canada's not LA, but I still like it. It's your birthplace. Right. Ontario, yeah. Windsor. Yeah. Proud Windsor native. Of course. <laughs> I thought you brought me out in Toronto. It was really funny. I did? Yeah, you go, a proud Windsor native. And I was wearing the Canadian tuxedo on that yeah, show. Yeah. That was really fun. That was a lot of fun. It's always fun to do Canada. It I is, actually am yeah. most looking forward, if I could be honest, I'm really looking forward to shooting the special. And oh, you just spilled on your big tits. <laughs> I'm looking forward to shooting the special, obviously, in Denver. But oh, yeah. uh, for the rest of the year, I think I'm uh, most looking forward to my Toronto date. Is that right? Yeah. TDOT is an amazing city. I really, really I like call, it. I called it that. I coined that phrase, TDOT. <laughs> and now they it's call it that, too. It's embarrassing. All right. Here we go. Let's start but, the but, show. But wouldn't you say that all the places on your calendars are places you want to go to? I like doing my They're tour. Great, great places. But I'm saying I'm most, I love the city of Toronto. Yeah, I do, so too. It, it's going to be exciting for me. And too. my cousin Bree Bree might come. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. Um, is is there food in Toronto? Oh, my God. He's going to ask me so many things. <laughs> the food's not Which spicy, hotel? is it? Are, are you, and then, do you know what time you're <laughs> checking in? Yeah. And then do you know, um, what? Uh, are you going to go downstairs now? Uh, what time <laughs> is it? Should I go with you? Is there, can I stand back? I hate that Can they get stuff. me a seat? Can I, uh, can I also <laughs> do it? And then after, do you want me to be there? And then... How are you getting to the airport? Which place, which <laughs> right. gate will you think you'll, you're going to get something to drink before you right. get to the gate? Do you think the food's too spicy in Toronto? Or will they have items on the menu that don't have spice? I have to wash yeah. my hands after because I don't want to get spice yeah, in my yeah. cat's eyes when I pet uh, my cat. I don't know if I have the enzymes to break down all that spice. That's true. <laughs> you know, my parents were the opposite of your parents. Like, whereas your parents explained things to you and they were yeah. like, they take the time. In my family, there was a do not ask questions policy. Yeah. It was always like, don't ask, just don't ask. So I learned to be very uh, self-reliant that way. Yeah. I don't ask questions anymore. All right, here we go. I go take take a big stinky (laughs) shit. After I go, I don't use toilet paper. I flush the toilet and I dip my hand. I get in here, dip three, dip three roughly and then flush again and dip one, two, three, four, five. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fuck is there? Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. It's so rude. Do it, do a white guy.
We were, um, <laughs> thanks for everyone that came out to Ball Sacramento this weekend. The full charge was with me. Oh, always and fantastic. Always fantastic. We were hanging out and randomly, <laughs> We heard two Guns N' Roses songs, just like in restaurants and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And we were talking about like, can you imagine what it was like in their heyday to be Slash and oh just my God. on stage during one of those solos and your face is melting off from the drugs you did backstage <laughs> and you're just like, you don't even have to think to play your solo and it's a stadium. It's like 80 thousand people just going like ah, and, and you're so fucking high you know and the energy and like it's so crazy they probably have to tell you when when the show's <laughs> over they're like hey man it's over now he's like yeah what yeah he was saying uh uh full charge said he read slash's book yeah and that you know they used to get so fucked up just drinking handles of jack and doing heroin and oh everything my God. that he uh one time he called somebody in a hotel and he was like where are we <laughs> And they go, where are we? Dude, we're in Tokyo. And he goes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and they go, look out the window. And he looked out the window. He was like, ah, oh, shit, it is Tokyo. And he had no idea where he was. OMG. OMG for real. Just playing those hot licks, yeah. being on the road. Is that what they call those hot licks? <laughs> where, you, where they get to ours, the hot lick. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> hot licks. That's like such a dad word. I know. Um, could you imagine also the rate at which those guys were probably getting laid too? No, no, they're like, out of come. There's no come. There's left. No, <laughs> no, no, there's no come left. And even that guy Slash, I wasn't a huge. I was just not a huge fan of those dudes. I yeah. was listening to Bauhaus and you know whatever. But yeah, his face was totally covered with hair. Right. Yeah. The so, hat was like here on the eye, like on yeah. the, like on the bridge of your nose. Yeah. And the hair covered the face. And the cigarette was just hanging out of his <laughs> mouth. I mean, he, he just looked fucked up constantly. Yeah. I don't know if he was, but he definitely looked that way. But he could shred, right? Yeah, I mean, sure, he, talent. I just remember, I was telling him, I remember that, you know, people would always talk about guitar players. And I'm not a guitar player, but I would always hear conversations about the greatest. And it would always be, you know, people would talk about B.B. King, Eric Clapton, all these people, and Hendrix. But I remember when, when, at least when I was listening to those songs at first, I would be like, is this not a bad motherfucker? Because it yeah. sure sounds like it to me. The way that those solos Those hot go, licks got played Those like hot that. licks were shred <laughs> apart, man. I mean, he really did. They, yeah. they, he destroyed on those They were an amazing band. Like, yeah. I, look, nobody, I mean, very few people didn't like that band. Like, yeah. I, I, it, I was goth. I was like hardcore goth. And even yeah. I knew all their songs. Mm -hmm. Because they would play them like in grocery stores and shit, and they definitely so still hold up for the, sure. The songs are like you could put it on; it's 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 a solid. Did, did solid you have album. um? Did you have a GNR shirt? I mean, no, I, I wasn't. I wasn't a GNR shirt guy, but I definitely had those. I had the tape because uh, that's still like one of the best. I remember for uh, football, it yeah. was it was one of the pregame tapes they'd play on the overhead system. Oh yeah, I can Welcome see to that. the jungle. Yeah, and 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 also in the weight room so like whenever we had i mean that came on it still comes on you're like fuck yeah, you let's, pump. let's do this yeah you get ready to crack some fucking skulls when you hear that music definitely huh? welcome to the jungle you know where you are yeah you're in the jungle baby <laughs> you like that time you're gonna die wow la, 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 la. i don't think i've ever heard you do that voice and i never want to hear it again <laughs> what do you, was it as good as my sneeze earlier or worse like what was more the sneeze horrible? was terrible yeah sneeze. His, and that's another person. Axl Rose's voice is also so crazy. Crazy amaze. Now, uh, do you think he still can sing like that? He's older. No, now. no, I don't think he can sing just like that. But I think it's probably pretty good. Yeah. Because there is there is such thing as uh, after a certain point, there's certain voices that just you can't make. Like well, Mariah age, Carey can't, yeah, can't hit the notes she used Whitney to hit. Whitney couldn't either. Whitney couldn't. Yeah. I don't think Aretha Franklin can hit the notes she hit in the 70s like it's just yeah. like you know you're, MJ you're, too you know yeah you age um I liked Perry Farrell's voice a lot from Jane's Addiction he's got a great voice he's another one that I don't think uh, sounds like anybody else it's a maze it's super unique it's true yeah yeah it's a weird one but, but Axel's was like so famous Axel and nobody if somebody else like there's songs where another singer can sing the song you're like yeah that's that's that song but if he if someone else sings Guns N' Roses songs, it doesn't sound You can't the same. do that. Yeah. No, that, that that's a special, unique thing, a group of people yeah. in space and time and place and everything. You can't replicate. Now, because I grew up, everybody knows I grew up in LA, and I remember when that band hit, GNR, because they were like a Sunset Strip band, mm -hmm. it was fucking pandemonium, dude. Was it? Like, 
Because I used to go to the Roxy. My stepmom liked, of all things, Hessian music, like heavy metal. Heavy metal was huge when those guys came out. So we would go down to the Roxy and see bands play, and that they were just the biggest thing, man. Those guys, you couldn't escape them. Did you see them play in a small venue? I don't think so, oh. no. No, but I remember Pirate Radio was this thing in L.A. It was yeah. like this Hessian radio station, and they played them. And it was a big scene here, man. It, yeah, it must scene. have been so crazy to be like, oh, yeah, I saw Guns N' Roses at the at Troubadour. Fucking, yeah. yeah, on and Sunset. Then, and then the next year, where'd you see them? Oh, they're at Dodger Stadium yeah. right now. Yeah, my, well, our friend Alan, who does our hair, He's like, yeah, I saw fucking Jane's Addiction on Sunset, and I yeah. saw fucking GNR. Like he saw, he's a little bit older than us, so he yeah, saw all that stuff. He saw all that shit. He probably partied uh, with those guys. Oh, for sure. Yeah. He's all fucking saw the Pixies back in 1986. That's nuts. <laughs> he looks good for his age, doesn't he? I start to pay attention to that so much more now. Yeah. I just saw something like some guy died, and it was on his bio, and it said 53. I'm like, this dude looks 80. Yeah. Like there's people who just, you know, <laughs> you're like you're lucky because your pops. He looks great. He looks fantastic. Yeah. 71. Looks great. My mother actually aged very well, too. Yeah. We'll see what happens here. But no, I think, you're, I think she, hey, they both looked okay. You're set up for success. Now, this actually means it's all on you. It's so all on my it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay off the heroin. Yeah. Yeah, no, you see it all the time. I mean, I'm talking to people. And I like, know. How old are you? And then, you know, you, uh, Rogan just turned 50, I think. It, he looks amazing. He looks great. Really God takes damn. care of himself, though, right? So that is the key. Fifty is an age where you can look forty, or you can look ninety. It's yes, like fifty is like the really it. You fall on one side or the other. Oh yeah. Well, forty is when you hit a wall. That's mm -hmm. that's when you either you go hard See, on I maintenance. No, I'm in my thirties. <laughs> I'm like thinking about what it'll be like. Shut up. I just don't. know. I hate you so much. How much more until your forties? I don't know. I can't add that high. It's still a while, though. <laughs> What's going to happen like? tomorrow? What's it like up there? <laughs> Actually, Because I, I was like already it. thinking that how next year I still <laughs> won't turn 40. What will that be like? I don't know. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> I like being in my four. I like 41. It's awesome. It's fucking great because you don't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck in my 30s. Now I give even less fucks in my 40s. Yeah. You just fucking don't care. I do like that process of, of living and aging. Yeah, I do People too, People don't actually. realize it really happens where... As the years go by, you really are like, I don't give a no. fuck. Yeah. Every year it's a little more. <laughs> you don't you care just, about something. It's not that you don't care about everything. No, it's no. that you care about certain things and then the rest just disappears. Right. You realize it's weird. how insignificant and not important things are. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's just like we you know when you're in middle school, you care so much about, oh my God, what did that person think if I yeah. wear these brown shoes? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you think it's so important and you, you make sure that like you... You don't have those shoes on. You like you think that, that that's someone else's focus, you know. Yeah. And then I don't know, twenty, thirty years later, you're like, I'm gonna, go, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna put shit of shit into <laughs> like something to be carrying what I wore. No, know? and and not to be a shameless plugger right now, but on that's deep, bro. That is a lot of what I talk about on that show. Yeah, about life and the nature of it, and get and part of getting your life too is like. You, you learn to focus your fucks mm -hmm. really. It's like that book, minimal. The Subtle yes. Art of Not Giving yes. a Fuck. And I talk about that book a lot yeah, on the show. Yeah. I love it. That was funny because I, I, I bought this book, been reading it, and then I go, oh, you're going to love this book. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, oh my God, I love, I love that book. I go, really? You know, I talk about it on that all the time. I love That's your funny. voice. I love the your uh, girl talk voice that's no, because i hear you speak all the that time. is not how i talk that's how your sisters talk no it's not it's exactly that how you talk oh mg mariah mj what about your boyfriend here i love this guy. i go take take a big stinky shit <laughs> after i go i don't use toilet paper i flush the toilet i dip my hand i get in here dip yeah three dip three roughly and then flush again and dip one two three four five six <laughs> I love uh, him so now, much. Do you want to describe his uh, <laughs> his gear, yes, his yes. attire? So uh, let's say he's on the non-binary spectrum. Yeah, I mean he's the shirt zen. is torn open sure. so that half of his chest is written as a torn shirt. And it says sexy vegan and then vegan on the so arm. We all know that he's vegan. It's you either guys... tattooed or it's written in humongous permanent marker and then it's over the eye <laughs> oh and the other four oh he's got vegan on his eyebrow too yeah and he's got like those what are those gauges or something in his yeah, ears yeah. and um yeah he looks but then a, bl a bluetooth or something in there looks, looks lean <laughs> he's definitely vegan yeah he's definitely he eats right and now we know so he doesn't use paper 
But I thought this was interesting. Listen to this. And then I flush, and I dip, and I go deep in 25 times, deep in the buckle, flush 25 times again, go like 100 times, flush, dip, get this like six times, and then sometimes do more around here. First of all, I want to point out that you know, he's big on obviously not using the paper. He's already flushed three or four times. So he's wasting water. He's wasting tons of water. Tom. So he's trading paper waste for water waste. trees for the water. Yeah, I mean, no. So people will say that's gross, but the fact remains that Wait when I stick a forage booty rock on about seven vibrator signs and smell, there's no unpleasant smell. And everyone else's butt you can smell from like at least a foot away. Like you go like around that area and then you can smell it. Mine you can't. Mine smells delicious. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Did you just see what I saw on what? the eyebrows? What? There are no eyebrows. They're shaved and penciled. They're they're markered in like that crazy guy that used to live in the Rampart Division at the bus stop. Are you suggesting that this guy is not <laughs> mentally fit? What's going on with these vegan dudes? Vegan vagina. So they, they love to identify it. Vegans can't shut the fuck up about it. That's the annoying But that's thing. one lane of it. But this is also like a little crazy in the... Yeah. In the it's vegan. become an identity. Like when the yeah. diet becomes an identity... It's and look, I, I get it. It's a... Pretend that I'm licking your balls I, I or your him. penis or your I anus or something. Him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you can pretend. You can pretend that... You have permission... I'm I pretend. fucking hate that guy. No, I don't hate. I don't want to put out there that I I, I do not hate vegans. I don't. I just yeah. think when you identify with any diet so much, you have to advertise it. It's a little weird. This dude's really into it. He goes deep in his now, butthole with his bare hands. Hold on, we though. just jumped over that. Well, yeah, he wipes his ass that. with his bare hands and the him. toilet water, <laughs> and then he goes deep in his asshole. Well, let me let me tell you why I'm not so opposed to it, okay. because the tushy yeah. and the bidet. Mm-hmm use the toilet water that's in the tank. We're using his hand though, Gene. Right, but it's all it's all toilet. Uh, I'm not, it's all in the same Okay. You know. But yeah, but you use okay, let's you use your hand to wash your asshole in the shower. Okay. Your bare hand. You don't use a washcloth. It's not cloth. covered in shit when I do it. <laughs> it's not a shitty asshole. It's a, it's already a <laughs> mo- very clean butthole. I know, area. I'm just trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. That's all. I used to use two entire rolls of toilet paper. Two? Um, wow. After going, this gets it way clean. So, no toilet papers allowed in my house or no soap. You don't like it? Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Right. No soap, too? Now, wait a minute. That's just not sanitary. Feek and vagina. Because he's going to get the poopy on his hands and in his uh, mouth. Yeah. No, you need soap, buddy. No, he's not into it. In the butthole. Why not the soap? Uh, it's vegan. There's vegan soap. There's got to be vegan of soap. Of course, like Dr. Bronner's or whatever, that hippie soap at Whole Foods. I don't know, man. There's got to be vegan soap. I don't know. This guy's he's really, he's big on pushing his, uh, he goes, you don't like it? There's no toilet paper. There's no soap. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Uh, you think he's I have had a, problems with that in the past. No, I, I actually think there's a lack of people visiting his home, <laughs> is my guess. I don't think that there's a lot of visitors at all. Uh, you don't. No, uh, I think when they go, hey, <laughs> did you shave your eyebrows and write vegan on your forehead? Then they go, maybe I won't come over, actually. I think that happens now, a lot. Now, the thing is, is that he's a fairly attractive human. He's yeah. not like the other animals. And he's got a clean asshole. He said it doesn't even yeah, smell. Yeah, but he doesn't use soap on it, so how clean can it be? He said it doesn't smell. I trust him. I don't trust him. Okay. I don't trust. You need soap. Hey, do you want to hear some good news? Antiseptic. There's so much... Horrible news these days. Oh my gosh. Here's some good news. The chubby chaser took our advice. Remember that girl? Yeah. She wrote in. Yeah. How do I go? She writes, Hello, Gene. I wrote to you about a month ago asking advice on how to approach a chubby guy I was interested in and just wanted to give you a follow up. <laughs> I took your advice and happy to say it worked out. <gasps> I made the first move like right. you suggested and we went out last weekend. All your suggestions about reassert, reassert, reassurance and physicality were spot on. as he seemed to loosen up as the night went on. I also went out of my way to make sure that night would be my cheat day so I didn't come off like (laughs) a stuck-up bitch food snob. We have plans this weekend again, and I can't wait to get to know him better. Uh, Would he ever date his mom? Does he (laughs) like moose soup? Maybe he loves watching (laughs) Studio G clips. Guess we'll find out. Thanks again, Hitler. Your adoring fart mistress, Brittany. How about that? That's fantastic. Yeah. Brittany. I'm so Fuck. glad. 
You guys are doing good. <laughs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> That's so exciting. Good for you. I hope you guys get along. I hope it's a long term mommy. Yeah. I hope you find your genes. I hope you do. It's really great. Really great. I hope gene. Everybody finds their genes. Mm -hmm. You know what's interesting? Last night, uh, we were watching Billions. We were in bed. So obsessed with that show. I know. It's, it's, it's good. Just, it's just good entertainment. That's what it is. I, I was thinking about everything is over analyzed these days, you know, meaning is, I feel the same way about stand up. What's the message? What is he trying to say? And then you're like, it's just funny. And yeah. like this show is just entertaining. It's just good entertainment. It is good. You know? The guy's got the weird mouth, the lead character, but I like him yes. despite that. Yeah. And the wife Dan is Soder's in it. The comedian. The comedian. He's he's great. I love the therapist character. I yeah. love his wife character. She's she's a real fucking old school neighborhood mm -hmm. crazy. I like that. Um, and so this episode we watched last night, season two, they introduced a non-binary character. They did. Non-binary. Uh, to other people who have been like, yeah, we've been watching this show for months. I know, but we started we last always, night. So. We, we might start on Walking Dead soon. Yeah. Maybe Game of Thrones. Maybe S Sopranos. We'll get into that. The Wire, I heard's good. We're going to try that soon. <laughs> Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> but um, it was it's yeah. a good. They you look. I like this act. Act. What's the pronoun? I don't yeah. even know what to say. I can't. I call them an actor, mm -hmm. or is it actress? No, it's Shit. actor. Actor. Okay, I like them. I've seen them because they are really non-binary. They really are, yeah. and I've seen them on Orange Is the New Black. What's your pronoun? They yeah. they are fantastic in that. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, it was cool. It was interesting to see how they, they don't really address it. Yeah. Dan Soder's character is like, oh, I ordered you lunch. I assumed you were vegan. That and was hilarious. Then, That's a really funny scene. Yeah. Actually. And then they go like, eventually, yes, they are yeah. vegan, which is funny. Of course I'm vegan. Yeah. Of course I'm vegan. Yeah. And they do do a good job with uh, somebody else is like, well, she knew what she was talking about. He's like, they. Oh, I didn't and see then, that one. Oh, you, met, you, were, you must have fallen asleep. Yeah. He goes, they. And then the person just goes like. All right. Whatever, <laughs> yeah, back. Yeah, like, okay, <laughs> sure. Um, but before that, so we were snuggling in bed with the dogs and everything, mm -hmm. and I wore a nice nightgown. I thought it would be kind of special. It was nice. So, you know, anyways, we were snuggling, and then you farted once. And I, <laughs> and I let that one go. I let it slide. I was like, well, you know, fool me once. And then the second fart rolled around. <laughs> Why do you have to make eye contact with me when you play that drop? I thought we were kind of making need, music here I together. Don't need the contact. I was kind of playing the sound. It's like when we read our our kid those sound books. <laughs> you're you're reading the text and I'm pushing the button. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So, and then I I got up and I left because it was offensive. The second one was so stinky, and you really pushed. It wasn't like an oopsie. It was deliberate, and I felt like you wanted me to smell it and get upset. Damn. But it occurred to me that because I've been smelling your farts for 12 years now, that I could probably guess uh, guess your farts in a lineup. Yeah. Like, if there were... I don't know if you really want to get that experiment going, <laughs> going though. <laughs> I don't know if you want to ask, like, hey, how about you guys, you five guys, fart here, and uh, I'll stand behind this door, and then... <laughs> Here's what we can do. Now, I did these experiments in college mm -hmm. where I had a roommate that would fart into film containers and seal the container and then send the fart across the country. Well, yeah, I know Somebody that would open yes, it and works. you could smell the fart. I Who mean, did you guys do that to? Uh, my old roommate, Kevin, and he would mail farts to like his friends back home in Seattle. Or and they would smell it? Uh-huh. Yeah. And it works. Yeah. They mailed me a fart once when I was studying in England and I got a fart mailed to me and it, it does work. They, they mailed me a fart from the States. Wow. Shauna and Kevin. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's neat. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that's one way we can do the experiment is that I could just It'd be cool to mail someone a fart like that, have them <laughs> open it, and then they just vomit because it smells so yeah. if, if it catches you off guard, it's yeah. really weird. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I knew what it was because we'd, we'd done it as roommates. Like, it was yeah. a joke in the house. Yeah. They really does stay in there. It does. And, and, and overseas. I mean, not traveled from the U.S. to, to uh, England. Unbelievable. <laughs> Really? Very impressive. Now, the key, the struggle today would be to find the film container because I don't right. even know if they... You can still buy them. Yeah, of course. Like on Amazon, we can get a bunch of film. Or you can go to the photo the photo lab that I went to. <laughs> they have to, it has to be airtight. You could ask them, you know what you could do, <laughs> go in there. Do you guys have any discarded film canisters? 
good for like sealing farts and see if they're like, uh, yeah, you want to mail someone right a here. fart? <laughs> yeah, that's what we sell these over here for mailing farts to people. I'm sure. No I'm sure. problem. <laughs> I mean, you have to admit that it's a pretty amazing discovery. Like my old roommate Kevin discovered it randomly. Yeah. And it's, it is pretty revolutionary if you think about it. Yeah, how, no, how else would you mail a fart? No, it's incredible. It's incredible. How else could you send the smell? You could put it in one of those mason jars with the, with like the it, real. Oh, that's Especially a, with the seal, you know, the, that kind <laughs> where you have to pull the lever to, to seal it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Decorative. Yeah. Now, are those airtight? Yeah. They now, do. now, here's my thinking uh, the scientists listening can verify or, or yeah. not. The reason the film canister works so well is because you have less volume in there. Yeah. There's less air. So it really preserves the essence of the fart. Now, my thinking is a mason jar can be very large, and maybe you're going to dilute the smell mm. with all the air molecules. I have to point this out. It just I just remember, I don't want to forget. Okay. Paternal twins means identical twins. See, now- I you know, last week when we were talking uh, again, about yes. it, we got some messages. I just yeah, wanted to yeah, point that Yeah, but I looked it up, and the, it's not commonly referred to as paternal. No, it's I know, but- It's either fraternal or identical. But they're, but technically, paternal right. is identical. Is identical, meaning so, the, the egg splits mm -hmm. into two. Right. Right, the same egg. Right, so, but I was All just right. making that point that when we were trying to figure out what that meant, it's been clarified. Okay, okay. And well, yeah. somebody wrote, identical dicks are important. <laughs> Hey, Hitler mommies, I just wanted to share a story about twin penises with you. I just had a Hawaiian family move in across the street from me. The father invited me over to have a few beers with him. He has twin sons, and in the middle of our conversation, he said, I hope they have the same size dick, or else one is going to steal the other one's girlfriend due to having a larger penis. My jaw dropped since earlier that day you guys were having the very important question about twin dicks. Sorry this doesn't answer the question, but it's important we find out the answer. <laughs> Love always your Bali, your Polly by Flipper guy. Wow. The Dick Detectives. Well, this is one of those mysteries that we're going to continue exploring on. Oh, we'll never time. stop. Never stop searching. Not until justice is served. <laughs> you see that Dick Detective's uh, graphic someone made? I did not. You didn't see this? No. Oh, my God. It's so fucking phenomenal. I'm going to send okay, it. Okay, let's on. see it. Send Hold the on. smell. Send this smell. Um, here. I, I'll pull it up on the screen. So just give me a second. In the meantime, uh, Tom, we've been getting a little pushback on a topic very popular and dear to our hearts. Uh you know Danielle Dazzoli, we know D Dazza, she changed it to Dazza DS on Twitter. Okay. Danielle. Yeah. She writes, uh, hey, Christina P. Tom Segura, I know this is an inflammatory statement, but I've been thinking about it. Farts do push the shit out. Oh, we're going there again, huh? I mean, it's thought provoking and uh, well, let's reopen the topic. Well, what's what the I'm explanation? Saying. I mean, we had a great explanation for the other, for that the shits push the farts out. Right. So why is she saying that the opposite though? What's she the just argument? feels that way. Oh, but Maybe there's no could... case. That's a <laughs> failing argument. I mean, the other person really laid out that we had it wrong this whole time. And you're saying that someone said, no, it's the other way, but there's no argument. And she said that she's been thinking about, it. I guess what she's saying is intuitively it feels as though farts push the shit out. As opposed to shit's pushing the it's farts out. It's counterintuitive that shit's put, push the farts out. It's counterintuitive. No. It's not logical. No, it is logical. But I feel it, it, the farts do push the shit no. out. But then how do you shit, okay? Think about it. Here's the thing. Here's my case, Yana. Is that <laughs> how do I know I have to shit in the morning? The farts are coming. Because the shits are pushing the farts out. <laughs> but the farts are also simultaneously pushing the shit out. No. No. <laughs> but then I can't fart without the sh I can't shit without the farts. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I think we'll have to uh, table <laughs> we'll this. We'll have to a, agree to disagree. Yeah. We'll wait a little bit longer on this. Um, uh, bruh, bruh. Uh, but thank you for supporting the store. There's all these... Uh, we have the DJ Dadmouth, the black shirt. People ask for that shirt in black. The Rub Rub shirt, obviously. Nobody likes that. Go Sup ahead. Kane has a new shirt. Um, Big Daddy Kane and I did together. Um, rub, 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 rub. Uh, anyways, and there's Moose Soup. There's uh, two Moose Soup shirts. So 
Thanks for everyone. I always want to say thank you for for getting them, and I uh, hope you you like the stuff. Hold on, I have to fart. I okay. feel like you know what? Maybe shits do push the farts out because I can fart without having to shit. This is. I think now we. I think we're all good now. I think we've covered all your thoughts and opinions on this. And no, but think about it. If I can fart without having to shit, yeah, then it truly is that shits push the farts out. Yeah, because okay. farts don't have to push the shit out. This is what I wanted to show you. Look. <laughs> so stupid. The Dick Detectives. Fathead Comics. Wow. Made it. But isn't that fantastic? It's amazing. Look, like, look at outline, our outfits. This outline of the <laughs> dick. <laughs> That's so good. And the dick here and the Dick Detectives. That's great. It's really funny. That's man. really funny. So Fathead good. Comics on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you very much for the Dick Detectives graphic. <laughs> dun, dun. Yeah, it's really great, man. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Do you want to hear some uh, emails about deaf people? Yeah. Okay. So last time, you know, the problem with this fucking otter box, uh, we asked how blind people, uh, no, is it deaf people or blind people, how they wake up deaf along yeah. the clock? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this person writes in, Bridget, my college roommate was not deaf but would sleep through any alarm. She bought an alarm made for deaf people. It was a mat that slid under her mattress and would shake her whole bed at the say, at the set time. I've always wondered about... That's really interesting. There are people out there that cannot wake up. Isn't that amazing? I know. Um, I remember my buddy Steve in high school. We, you know, we would crash at each other's places all the time and the alarm could be next to his head. Oh, full yeah. blast and I would be like and I just look at this dude like and you just go and start shaking him sleeps right through it I don't understand that well, he's touched right I know I don't think so he's slow no he's just got a big head yeah yeah <laughs> um I know people like that I hate people like that I know it's and super like, annoying or like I'd pick him up like uh Saturday morning we'd have uh you know they'd have they make you go to practice sometimes on Saturday so I drive over to his place I'm pounding on the door that's next to his bedroom. Pound, pound, pound. And I could hear the alarm mm, through the door. It's so annoying. Jane, uh, by the way, my uh, younger sister, if she falls asleep on the couch at midnight and you're like, oh, go to bed. You can, you can take her, you could drag her off the couch, leave her head hanging on the couch. Her legs are on the couch, still wouldn't wake up. You can push her, you can smack her in the face, nothing. So crazy. I don't understand how you can sleep that deeply. I guess they're neurological. Maybe they they shut down so completely more so than you know other people. I don't know. Yeah, but I heard about oh, since once we started asking, people have come up to me at, even at those shows, and they said about mm. uh, a shaking bed. Okay. Well, here's another one. Uh, we asked. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, another thing is people, deaf people use flashing lights. A doorbell ring would be a quick ding dong or an on off succession of flashing lights and a baby crying would be rapidly blinking lights to indicate wow, wow, wow. So like how do they get around the house and do oh, yeah. doorbells and yeah. stuff like that? They use Makes lights. Makes sense. Yeah. But I yeah. guess you have to have those lights in the room obviously that you're in, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, of course. So, yeah. So do you put them everywhere? I guess so. I guess so. Or the whole house must blink. I don't know. Yeah. Beats the shit out of me. Anyway, here's another very thought-provoking question about blind people that okay. came in. Okay. Corey from Jew Dork Titties writes in, Hey, Hitlers, how do blind people find the Braille signage in public places? Hmm. No shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, how the fuck did they find it? That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. I mean, there's sometimes it makes obvious sense. Like because, ATM? Yeah. Because you're... You're finding out where is the ATM, and you know you, you're directed towards it by somebody, and then once you get there, you can read the braille. Damn. But I don't know. I mean, that's that's interesting, right? Yeah, I guess your guide. They maybe have a guide, and the guide is like, "I told you this is where you this, go." <laughs> about the uh, the time I was in, it was in New York, and uh, where in Jew Dork Titties, uh -huh. and there was a blind guy across the street. Going like this, mm -hmm. waving his hand over his head, and he started to do it more and more aggressively. And I guess what it what he was doing was he was signaling that he needed somebody mm. to walk him across the street. Mm. 
but he wasn't he wasn't nice about it at all. So when I went up to him, he goes, "God damn it, I've been doing that for ten fucking minutes." Aww. And then like I walked across the street with him, you know. He's like, "God," and then like when we got to the other side, he didn't say like thanks. He was just Aww. like motherfucker, and then he just kept walking because I think that light didn't have the, uh, the boop, yeah boop. boop. Oh. So he just stood there and. But I was like, I, I mean, I, I was hesitant to approach. I was like, I don't know what this fucking guy yeah, is doing. Yeah, why is this crazy person waving? Well, yeah. He wouldn't know what He's, that's he about. He said he was waiting, waiting for someone to help him. Oh. Yeah. Did you give him a rub, rub, rub to thank yeah, I him? Yeah. said, you want me to kiss you on the penis or anything like that? He was like, yeah. He's like, that's what I've been waiting for for 10 minutes. You have to sharpen the knife. You have to, yeah. So you have to do sometimes. You know, I was at the comedy store this weekend, and... um. I took pictures rup, of people rup, rup. and I was talking to fans in the hallway, yep. people, you know, people who listen to the show yep. and everybody was like, God, Christina, you are the personality champ because where's Tom right now? Like he's not even at the comedy store taking pictures of me. You just absolutely sealed your fate because <laughs> hundreds of people <laughs> in Punchline Sacramento were like, I'll tell you one thing, Christina <gasps> didn't meet us after this show. Do you know, and you, and you want to know something? What? I'll be a hundred percent honest here. Yeah. The reason I did not, yeah, uh, they have metal detectors for people going in. So I was yeah. like, I'm kind of scared, honestly. And I don't think that our fans are, uh, you know, gun wielding lunatics. But I was like, if they're fucking making these people go through metal detectors, I mean, you know, it yeah, just spooked me in. a little. I don't know, but I still, I was spooked. You were spooked? A little bit. Really? I swear. Sacktown, huh? I swear. I had a guy walk by me. And he had that midday drunk swag, yeah. you know, where he was like, I could see him walking up and he was like, and I could see he was like talking shit to nobody. Talk you know? some shit? But you know how alcohol will give you a yeah. little more? Yeah. And he was like, motherfucking shit. And then as he walked by me, he was like, I was born in this city and I'll put my foot up your motherfucking ass. Mm. And I was like, okay. And then as he walked by me, he turned around, he goes, come into a theater near you. And I was like, this dude... <laughs> That means that's some serious shit. That's like an old school thing to say too, you know. Coming, yeah. I feel like that's a twenty year old, yeah, <laughs> like reference. Wait, in he a way. said that by the club. No, this by is the downtown. Ma- the mattress store. No, oh. no, not, not by the mattress store. That location is weird. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, and that's another reason I'm kind of like. I don't you were know. scared to meet people. Yeah, because I don't like the locate. The mattress store is weird. Uh, also, I had a lot of weird experiences in the hotel. Like, I feel like there was a lot of just zombies, weirdos around. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. It's a weird area, but uh, at the show, you should feel all right. Like I said, I trust your mom's house fans, but yeah. there were other people at the shows, okay. not yeah. just mommies, you know? Like, I don't know those weirdos. Motherfuckers go stab me or something. Yeah, okay. I didn't know you. I mean, it's different being a woman, I guess. Hell yeah. But it's also different Creepers. having a super sour personality like <gasps> you do, you know? So maybe that was it. I don't have a sour personality. That's yeah, terrible. Yeah, you do. Look who's fun. First of all, I'm fully hydrated. I have two Fiji waters. Okay. Super fun. I have this fun Guatemala mug that our nanny got us. Mm-hmm. I mean, got me because I'm fun. I like to have fun. <laughs> Where's your fun Guatemala mug? I don't have a fun Guatemala mug. She didn't mug. get you one because she knows that your personality doesn't appreciate fun, that's, silly things. That's why? Oh my God, I have an update on Bitsy. So she's been dragging her ass, scooting, scooting, scooting. And we took her and they checked her anal glands. She's been on the antibiotics and everything. And turns out today she's got a little rashy on her mm. vulva. On her vulva. So now we have to put cream <laughs> on our dog's vulva three times a day. And she's wearing a cone so she can't lick it. Poor little girl. She's taking three different antibiotics just to make sure we kill whatever it is that's bothering her vag. So we have to put cream on our dog's vag three times a day. She's been dragging her little box everywhere. I know. <laughs> and now she keeps trying to lick on it and she can't because the cone's on. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of gypsies got mad that Tom Segura said the word gypsy on television. I didn't know gypsies had time to watch TV between pickpocketing and scamming society. All right. <laughs> That is true. Um, that is true, yeah. Yeah, I said gypsy on uh, Conan. Yeah, well, you said Tigain. I said Tigain, but then I translated. You know, I said <laughs> I've been teaching my son what my wife teaches me. Yeah. Egan, Nem, Roja, Tigain. And I said, you know, yes, no, rotten gypsy. <laughs> and uh, whatever. It was just like a throwaway to, to set up the song, the Hungarian song. <laughs> yeah. 
First of all, Hungarians, you were right. You're like, you're going to have Hungarians come out now. Yeah, they love Guy it. Guy comes up and he's like, I enjoyed your <laughs> show. I understand what you said. I go, you understand what I said? And he goes, <laughs> I go, oh, you're Hungarian? And he goes, yeah. I go, Michinas. He goes, oh. And I go, Akurva Istanbul's man. He goes, oh. And then his friends are like, what are you saying? What are you saying? He goes, he's not nice. <laughs> and Conan. He did a good, he did a really good accent. He did yeah. it well, I should say. Not good. He looked like good, a good. rock biter, too. Yeah, they are. Hardcore. Yeah, hardcore guys. It's funny, Hungarians are very, very stoked to be Hungarian. Yeah. Because there's like five of us on the planet. Yeah. So we're very proud of it. Yeah, I understand. There's just that. nobody who's Hungarian. Well, also, it's about if you're Hungarian or from that part of the world and you're here. Right, because obviously yeah, it's crazy. This is this is a long way from home. So <laughs> yeah. I, I would, I mean, it makes sense if you're like, oh, are you Bulgarian? Me too. Like that's something to get excited about, you know? I know. Lithuanian, Romanian, those are all things that you, you don't Transylvanians. find. Transylvanians, yeah. they're a very small community. Yeah, you don't see it that much. Just so you know, I'm a hundred percent genetically Hungarian, like all the way back. I know. I know. That's why we did that whatever genetic testing, and yeah, like I go back to the whatever no. paleo you're from the you're, you're <laughs> the, the big tip patrol you definitely my tits are big all the way back yeah generations generations of tits there was it was the whole well the whole the map of the world all the region was one yeah all, all of my ancestry it's yeah. pretty nuts when you think i'm about. more diverse you are diverse but it's crazy that now i'm responsible for bringing my lineage to this part of the world or my parents were rather that's true that's true no i am because i had the son we got we have a little half hungo boy he is totally half hungo. Mm -hmm. Tough. Yeah. Yes. He goes, I don't like naps. I like work. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Those are your first words. Really impressive, man. What do I Speaking of that part of the world, do you want to hear an accent? It's pretty interesting. Mm. Just see if you can decipher what's being said. Oh, boy. How you doing? How you getting on? A someday. Good for nothing. Hey. Hey, bit more like back a tear now and gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not really uh, fair because I do think there's a little bit of drunkenness. Wait, in, with who? In mental illness. With this guy? <laughs> well, it was submitted. They said, uh, you guys know accents, so. Well, again, it's, it's also nonsensical because he's drunk and probably schizophrenic, too. I don't know about your diagnosis. I don't support it. <laughs> um, I'm saying if he may have had a drink. Yet today or Several. The, maybe the day before he had a drink and he's just about to enjoy his cigarette. <laughs> it's possible, but I don't think that. Let's just go back to what he's saying and not oh, focus on God. your rude diagnosis. So let's see here. Wait, okay. Clearly the first man says, How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I got that part. I got that part down. How you getting on? That's so and he said, I get all. Hey. Good for nothing. Good for nothing. Good for nothing. Got yeah. that. Yeah. Hey. A woolly macketeer known Quan. A woolly macketeer no. is Quan. A woolly mammoth. Woolly macketeer. Racketeering Quan. Yeah. Bad roosters. Bad yeah. roosters. The goddamn roosters. Yeah. Beirut, okay. goddamn roosters. And then. Huh? I say that's some day. It's a lovely day. Excuse me. It's a good. Okay, lovely day. Excuse me. Day. And what gilly got with some old mighty old banya? Crap. Crap. <laughs> he sounded like Cosby a little. It reminded me of that amazing song. Um, do you remember? Where is it? Uh, when we did the, was it the Irvine show? Yes. One of the songs is the vocal fry champ, <laughs> but they use they use the. Um, they use the the drunk guy. I think he was also Irish. He's like, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was like, yeah, was like, yeah. Uh, this guy. Oh. <laughs> 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 It's amazing. 
Um, <laughs> that, that's uh, Gaping Dad <laughs> with the Vocal Fry song. I, I have to say, we have, you know, every once in a while you get so much, um, so many replies, responses, and excitement about songs. That Matt Mercer song from last week, people flipped out yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah. Was good really one. good. I realized too. I was like, man, I know he's made other songs for us, and uh, he made. Let's, let me see. What is it? Vocal fry. He made. <laughs> what is it? It's the river song. Yeah, look at the river. Remember that one? <laughs> you spit out when you heard this song the first time. He made this song. All right, here we go. <laughs> First time going over the new bridge. Been waiting for this for over three years. Oh, 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 my heart's gone and I can feel it in my chest. Oh, 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 my heart's gone and I can feel it in my chest. Look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Look at the river. That's Matt Mercer also. That's amazing. That was so funny. Yeah. God, that dad is ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Stop the presses. Oh, what? What? You have a dental update. Oh my God. I have the biggest dental update. But but before I even get into the dental update. Let me um, remind people, now that we're pulling out those songs, every time I log in to Facebook, I'll see- Facebook. Facebook. Social I'll see media. hundreds, I'm not exaggerating, hundreds of unread messages. We don't do it. We don't, people oh, send emails yeah, and, and they go them. check out the, I don't read we them. only access things for the show from our Gmail account. Yeah. So if you have a song, if you have a clip, if you have a story, if you have a message. A, f a fart you'd want to send in the canister. All of that, it's your <sighs> mom's podcast at gmail.com. It is there's no house in the email address. Your mom's podcast at gmail.com. I just wanted to make it clear. If you've been sending stuff on Facebook, we don't we don't check it out. Okay? Social media. All right. So Oh, it's so big. I can't believe we forgot it. I know. So it's been... Um I will say I've been pretty good. I've been pretty good lately with dental care. Uh, this is the, I went seven months, you know, you're supposed to it's do every bad. six. Yeah. So seven months ago, I had my teeth cleaned. I went back for a cleaning, but I also scheduled a in-house whitening treatment. <laughs> Hold on. Before we get there, how was your report card? What was your gum score? Oh, I was, I was uh, just as solid as last time. Yeah. No What's depreciation. That? Okay. He was just. What like, are your numbers? Let's hear them. I, don't, I forget. I forget which numbers. Because I always hear one, two, one, yeah. two, two. Like yeah. I'm always really good. Yeah, that's what he said. Usually probably like eight, nine. Actually, you want to know the truth? You can call him and ask him this. He yeah. said best set of teeth I've seen in a year. Really? Yeah. That's inaccurate because he said that about my no, teeth, didn't. and I was there less than a year no, ago. Thank you very much. So I'm the teeth uh, champion. You're not. Oh my nobody. god, my teeth are so much better than yours. If we if we did teeth champ, I'm definitely the teeth. Look at those. Disagree. Look at those pearly whites. Disagree. You look like you have dog teeth. Oh my god, my teeth are so much better than yours. You always have those canine problems. What canine? You problems? have that tooth filed down all the time. Your teeth are sharp and and jagged. Like jagged Tic Tacs. Look how white they are. Anyways. Barely can see them, though, because of your big lips and uh, facial hair. Are you done? Go ahead. So I I went there. The cleaning was, was fun and fine and just It wasn't painless. fun, but painless. Wasn't, the cleaning was no like, blood? was no problem. Yeah, no no blood, no oh, nothing. Oh, good. It was, it was all good. When they're done, I was like, oh, that was actually pretty quick. Then they go, well, now we're going to do the whitening. And man... 
So first they put this thing to give, like, so you can give blowjobs. Like, it opens your mouth up really big. Yeah. And uh, I posted that picture on Instagram. It, was, it did real well. People really liked yeah. it. Um, and they, then they put... They do that when they give, when they give you braces. They it's try so to embarrassing. separate your, your lips from touching yeah. where your teeth are going to be. Then they put a protective gel on your gum line. Mm. Um, and then after that, then they put this fucking hydrochloric acid mm. on your teeth to start bleeding. And then they do multiple rounds. Four in an hour. So the first round went by and I'm like... Hum, hum. I had my... Thank God I had the headphones. I was listening to a podcast... Um, then I go, motherfucker, second round, I start to be, I, oh, I go like this, um, to wipe something on my lip and my, my finger touches it and she goes, you're going to burn your hand. And I'm like, okay. So she wipes my hand. Well, a little bit got on my lip. It started burning my lip. Yeah. So I had yeah. to write on my phone, my lip is burning. And then she took a cloth and she wiped my lip. By the third round, um, I was definitely feeling burning in my gums yeah, and uh, uh, a little bit on my tongue. Oh so God, that's the worst. She did a thing where she sprayed into the gum line yeah, and then sucked it out right away. Yeah, but yeah, the, yeah. Um, that helps. But after that final round, I was like, this, this is burning pretty bad. You know, Shit, how it's, man. And that night I had uh, like shooting pains in my teeth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, you're burning enamel, the layers of enamel yeah. off your teeth. So that but it is, worth it. It is so worth it. It's so worth it. I mean, your teeth look so much better now. I'm yeah. so happy for you. They're not buttery yellow. Yeah. Again, people don't really see your teeth a lot because you don't smile much because you're not a good personality. Yeah. You don't have a good personality. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if it's totally lost money. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. But it's good that it's there. The teeth are white. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate your thoughts. It's been nicer looking at you. I I'll bet it is. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're so mean to your parents. You're like... <laughs> You're always like, can I pay for you guys to do it, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> I wanted to. Do you think your dad would do it? Your dad needs it. Yeah. Can they treat dad mouth like if you were to go I to the dentist? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if they would actually treat him because I remember when she said, we're going to do your, your teeth whitening. I go, yeah. She goes, show me your teeth. And she held up like this all these little teeth on a, on a, uh, I guess on a, what's it called? On a thing, right? On a... Like a stick. Uh, yeah. Like yeah, a it's, stick. A, it's to see all the different shades, shades that your teeth aren't going to be. And she goes, okay, you're in this shade. And she goes, you're lucky it's um, yellow and not gray. <sighs> she goes, if it's gray, this won't work. She goes, with yellow, on a, like a yellow hue right. means we can... You can lift the color. But she up. goes, gray, we can't do it. Interesting. So you're saying that your dad's gray? I think a lot of old people are gray. Oh, right. Yeah, that's rotten. Yeah. And that that's probably what it adds to the dad mouth is the grayness of the teeth. It's probably the bacteria, the dying, decaying yeah. teeth in your head are making your mouth stink bad. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. a lot. It's his, yeah. And your gums are probably old, old and stinky too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just probably the age of your mouth that makes you. Makes yeah. dads get dad mouth. And just what kind of maintenance are you doing? Like anything else? Are you taking care of it? Got to maintain, dude. You got to maintain. Yeah, he is. Well, I don't think your dad flosses. Would you say that he flosses? No. No. Never. No. And probably reluctantly <laughs> goes, you know, to get things done. Like Relu yeah. teeth and gum care, I'm sure. He's That's probably like, oh, God. <laughs> got to go there again? Like I went last year. No, you didn't. Well, I went two years ago. Like that. Yeah. Does yeah. your mom floss? Mm -mm. I'm sure she doesn't. Yeah, that's my guess. I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe like it, she's the t the kind that's like, oh, this is annoying. I just had corn. It's bothering me. Mm -hmm. Let's get it out. Most she's people like are that. like that. I say that's when most people floss. Right. That's but that's the only time I've, I I haven't seen her be like, oh, I got a floss. I'm going to bed. <laughs> right. My sisters are actually really good at dental care. Well, yeah. Both. Jane's got great teeth. By uh, yeah, the way. and and I rem always remember Maria. Like flossing all yeah, the time. Yeah, she's got great teeth too. Yeah, very so those, hygienic. Those two are good at it, but the folks not so Disgusting. much. Disgusting. My name is Daniel Pagliozzi, and I'm a cat consultant. I give advice to 500 individual clients and their cats. 
So this asshole, wait, <laughs> gets better. Today we visited Bill. Okay. Bill has three cats. One is urinating on Bill while he was sleeping. Okay. He eventually surrendered to my advice and asked a cat permission for what he wants. What? That's the kind of advice this Hold guy gives. Hold on. If your cat is fucking pissing on you or your yeah. dog, yeah. I'd say that's a sign of... Uh, severe pro behavioral mm -hmm. problems with a cat and the cat does not respect you. This guy doesn't see all. it this way. <laughs> he thinks, wait till you hear the language he uses. I teach human clients to be better slaves. I am the voice of what these cats are trying to tell the people who love them. What? Yeah, I am the voice. You know, is this the fundamental difference, the divide, if you will, between cat and dog people? Is that the cat people are more... Oh, I thought you were talking about how we're on the brink of civil war in this country. But <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? No, no, no. The very uh, important uh, stuff. Come on, okay. we don't talk about that okay, on the show. Yeah. Uh, the very important divide between cat and dog people mm -hmm. is that people who, who love cats really love being treated poorly and they, they see themselves as submissive to the cats. Yeah. <clears throat> dog people aren't... We, I don't think we're that, that way. No... You, you you have Slaves? to be dominant. He's, That's what he said. Yeah, he wants them to his human clients to be better uh to be better slaves. Right, because in cat but I'm saying my best friend's yeah. a cat person and she's always talking about, you know, the cats being a jerk and the, but they they are submissive to the cat's needs. Right. It's different in the dog world. You have to show Maybe, them yeah. you're the dominant. You have to be dominant. You have to, otherwise yeah. the dog they have free reign and it's yeah. not healthy for and the they dog. They actually don't like it. Yeah. Right. So I'm just saying it's two different worlds. Dogs I'm not like judging. Control. It. They need rules yeah. And, yeah. and boundaries and guidelines. Yeah. Cats set the tone of the house and then you and have they're free to... room. Yeah. And then you Yeah. Yeah. It's I think it's harder to discipline a cat. How do Probably. you even yeah, I've had know. cats growing up. You don't. You just don't, right? You, they just do what they do and you adapt. Yeah, exactly. They fuck up your house and piss on you while you sleep. Piss on you while you sleep. And you're just like, well, that's what my kitty does. Yeah. <laughs> no. So he finally asked for permission. So wait, so to okay. what? To sleep there? Yeah, walk me through this. Is there more? Oh, there's more. Oh, I love it. My consultation is finding out what's going on with the cat to not only understand the body language, but the emotions of cats. Oh, there's your favorite. Yeah, my some favorite thing. Right there. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. He's mon See, my favorite would be he goes right. See, he's um, he's upset about when you leave without telling him. <laughs> Tell him. And I go, yeah. <laughs> um, I think he's happy right here. <laughs> and then he goes, no, he's not. How do you know that? Right. How do you not know that what you're interpreting as his acting out or anxiety isn't his joy? Did is it babe, in his diary? You, Did you read his diary, babe? When he went to bed last babe. night, babe. He has tattoos of cats on his body. He yeah. wears cat apparel. The guy is an expert. Okay, sure. My experience comes from working in the animal shelter system here in See? San Francisco. Mm -hmm. It's hard work, but uh, it's I love work. this job because I love uh, people love and I love cats. I know. I wonder if he cats. knows our friend that also works in the animal shelter um, system. Probably. You should ask her. Yeah. Be like, hey, do you know this clown that does uh, <laughs> cat consulting? Well, my friend also loves cats too. She might. They might be a match made in heaven. Actually, they might be perfect for each other. Um, you can learn a lot from it's got vocal cats fry. the world. Cats, they live moment to moment, and uh, here we go. I'd say all dogs. Look, all here's animals their uh, stupid. Here's their emotions. I'm happy to see you. I'm getting upset. <laughs> Let's be best friends. I'm interested. I'm crazy about you. Feeling loving. I'm worried. Uh -huh. Cats view the world. Cats. Sure. <laughs> Live moment to moment, and I think that's what a lot of people don't necessarily do. Mm. Cats live in the meow. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Cats live in the meow. I love that. Of course you do. Meow. They live in the meow. They live, yeah. they live right meow. Right meow. Press pause. Hey, do you think we're going to get a cat soon? That'd be fun. No. Come on. You can no. let it be an outdoor cat. I'm not against them as a species, but I'm allergic to them, and oh, well, it cute. would suck. Yeah. I like having a cat around. Cats are fun. What is this person? Plus, they catch everything. I know too much about my dad preferences. <laughs> With all the talk of Tom not wanting to know what gets top dog hard, I can top that. <laughs> oh, God. After my dad's second marriage ended, Ugh. we lived together, just the two of us. Eventually, Ugh. we got fairly comfortable with each other, and he started dating again. Ugh. One night, he came home from a date. I asked him the usual, so how'd it go? He smiled and then proceeded to shove two of his fingers he just used to stir his date's paint. 
up to my nose. Oh, wow. Oh, now she's my stepmom. Oh. oh. Keep it high and tight, Storm. Kind of nasty as hell. Oh, fuck. God. Storm, that could be a guy or a girl. I hope it's a guy. Perfect show for this. Yeah. That's really, I, I don't know why parents don't understand that even though they're adult, everybody's an adult, the child being an adult as well. Yeah. We don't want to know things about your life. I have a friend Never. who is living with his dad. Yeah. And his dad fucks yeah. with the door open in yes. the hall. Yes. You told me about that. And then he was like, dad, please, could you <laughs> shut the door when you fuck your girlfriend? And he was like, the dog's in here. <laughs> <laughs> and he said the dog will gets nervous if I shut the door. Sure. And he's like, I don't care, man. I don't want to hear you, you fuck. Don't you love his when, dad was just like, What is your deal? What's your problem? Yeah. Well, that the, the, the dads are narcissists who don't yeah. even think about the children's feelings or anything, right? Why why should your friend uh have a right to say anything? But don't you love when people have lame excuses for stuff like that? Like, well the do- the dog. Yeah, the they dog's here. I have to traumatize my son by fucking uh, in front of him. Yeah. Wish I could close the door. The, the dog. I mean, it's not about the dog, you asshole. You're, you're just an asshole. What well, if this dog needs to pee while I'm fucking? <laughs> you gotta be able to get out. It's the stupidest reason. I know. Another email came in. Do blind people dream? <laughs> they said, if so, do they dream in pictures, smells, or touches? Dave. Oh my gosh. Let's see. That's a good question, too. Well, I don't know. I feel like it's obvious that they dream. They dream, but do they dream the same way that sighted people do? Because we see, see things. things. Like, That's how do they see in their mind's eye? Well, they have a vivid Fuck. imagination, I'm assuming, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. If you're blind, can you tell? I mean, but here's the thing. What you describe, would it be, you know what I mean? That, how do they know that they're seeing things differently than we do in our mind's eye? They don't know. Unless you've been... Had your sight and then lost it right. later, but and if then you, you were can born blind, you how do they know? How do you? How do we know? It's just fucking LSD <laughs> trips all day. Oh, <laughs> when your dreams are like fucking psychedelic showdowns, I love it. No, I do, I do want to know what, uh, how you would describe what you see in your dreams. Oh, here's an email that came in about uh, playing against disabled kids. Last week I talked <laughs> about uh, in football when we beat a deaf school. It said hearing you talk about playing the deaf kids in the football sparked. Many of my classic memories from childhood. I am from Indiana, where basketball is life. And in grade school, I was playing against a team that had a kid with a nub for a left arm. I had to apprehensively guard him and immediately wanted to jump off a building when my super intense competitive dad yells from the stands, make him go left for the whole gym to hear. Oh, my God. Classic. Just thought I would share. Thanks for the most entertaining podcast out there. (laughs) You make my 10-hour workday go quickly, keeping Palm it high cast. and tight. Bo. Bo. Thanks, Bo. Yeah, I remember playing in those Little League games uh, against a few nubs, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was always a... In the little rec league teams, they always had like a kid, you know, missing a hand or something like in basketball. Yeah, there was some drug in the 50s, I think, that mothers were taking. I had a, I had a teacher in college who mm-hmm. had the baby arm thing, yeah. too, and it was from some drug they gave her mother. In football, by the way, I saw... I, I've seen it on the news. I'm sure people have seen this on the news. There's this clip, or, you know, with, with social media, it's made its rounds these days, of this guy who played in high school game <laughs> with no legs. Whoa. And so he's just like, he has little nub legs, and he would waddle out there wow. and uh, and actually play football. How did way. he, did he have like a machine, like a, a wheelchair apparatus? No. no. Seriously, he no. would just, on whatever legs yeah. he did have. And I think like he had like, uh, like half arms, like wow. didn't have full arms either. And so he would play on the line and they would, you know, he would just go out. It, it was, I mean, that awesome. was amazing to see that this kid wanted to do that that badly yeah know? dude well there's a will there's a way yeah and i guess now too with technology they can you know maybe you can build things to help some yeah well i don't think he could stuff. do that in, in not you know. with that this particular yeah. case but i'm saying like other stuff yeah that's yeah. cool that's pretty nice nice um what's it called nice when you want to burp but vomit oh please i don't want to hear this topic <sighs> my girlfriend not Suzanne interested. and i not were intrigued interested. by new vocabulary when you try to shit but only a fart my favorite is impooster, which is a good one. An impooster? Yes, I like that one a lot. But while we were hugging ourselves to orgasm, we were wondering <laughs> why there's no word for when you try to burp, but you accidentally uh, there, vomit. There is a word. We propose the word yerp. No, no. verp. 
No. Also, what if you cough and then vomit? That's oh, called stop. a comet. Stop it. I know Mommy Tina loves her vomit, so this will be helpful. Love, John and Suzanne. Now, being the the emetophobe that I am, stop it. I know the word. It is called a burf. A burf. When you go to burp, but you vomit, it is a burf. And I haven't had a burf in several years, but as a child, had several burfs. I don't know. For some reason, childhood, there was always <laughs> you're always pushing out burps, and so you'd burf. Yeah, that happens, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did Ugh, you? Uh, I hated burfing. That was the worst because uh, then you'd taste burf. Remember when you'd have to take a sip of like Cactus Cooler or Dr. Pepper? To oh, yeah. It? So it's so hard. hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Babe. Man, it took me a, I No, was, I don't. I was like really that. on top of it. You I had to get those I fingers don't. ready. <laughs> Yeah. No, okay. I don't we're like done. it. We're back. No, we're not. And yeah. I don't trust you. And I why don't you trust me? The minute I put these headphones on, you're gonna play no. another barf clip, and I, I know you. I won't. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you look so much like Robin Williams when you smile. You always say that. <laughs> More like Patch Adams, though. I don't know why. I don't look like Patch Adams. A little. I do not. <laughs> I knew it. I could fucking hear it. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst. Yeah. I'm not going to put this. <laughs> stop it. I can hear it in the headphones still. Okay. Did All I right. tell you the email that this girl wrote in a while back? No. I'm not going to put these on if you play barf clips. I know. Your trigger finger is hot. Let no. me see your hands. Put your hands up. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> there's a girl who wrote in because she knows I'm an emetophobe. Yeah. And is just, that what it's called? Uh huh. A metaphobe? A- emetophobia. To emet is to throw up. E M E T. Oh. Emet- emetophobia. And mm. she said there's a pill you can take that uh, will paralyze your stomach so that you don't vomit. Yeah. Have you taken it? No. Did you get it? Yeah. You do have it? Well, because I read about it, and like, let's say you have the stomach flu or something, it's yeah. just spasms of the stomach muscle. Mm-hmm. It's not necessary to vomit. I know what you're doing, and I fucking I'm not saw doing you anything. doing something sneaky. <laughs> no, I wasn't. There's nothing over there's here sneaky. like that. There's something sneaky happening. No, there's not. You think I'm fucking new to you, dude? <laughs> dude, this... <laughs> dude, I know your farts in a lineup. I know what you're doing. You're no, it's stupid. not. There's nothing over here like that. There isn't. There's nothing on this like that. I promise. I promise. <laughs> I swear. This one doesn't have it. This one doesn't have it. It doesn't. This one has this. You, know, you're ah, you guys are doing good. <laughs> That's what that has. You better watch out. I'm just saying this one doesn't have that. Do you want me to touch your peener? Yes. Then don't play any more puke clips. <sighs> Come on. Don't ruin the fun for everybody. It's not fun. Do you know how much the audience likes when you they hear vomit like clips? It. Yes, they, they do. They don't like it. They message me about <sighs> Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, they like it. That's they like terrible. It. They like my suffering. Huh? Yeah, they like it. They react. It's a genuine reaction. That's why they like it. They want to see genuine stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're, such a t- <laughs> You're the worst. Okay. You're the worst. I'm shutting it down. I'm no, shutting it down. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You just lost all my trust. Babe, that one was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry about that. So... Babe, it's over now. No, it's not. You're yeah. lying. No, it's over. It is over. It is over. Do um, you want to see this woman get really excited about eating an ice cream sundae? I guess a new sundae came out. Is she going to barf it up? No, she doesn't barf it up. But she gets really excited, and she's alone, and she's just like, God damn, this fucking tastes good. <laughs> You're it's like lying. a new. <sighs> Here, look. Holy shit. Oh, my God, that's good. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, you don't understand. You don't understand. Does anyone understand what I'm saying? So good. Oh my god. It's like crunchy. There's like a crunch. There's no one there. And creamy. It's a it's a bacon sundae. Oh boy. I like how she matched her shirt to the decor of that restaurant. It's pretty though. cool. Purple yeah. on purple, huh? Well, there's a lot of things going on with her. This is bacon I'm eating. <laughs> I like that she's that oh happy. God. Oh my God! What is happening? What? But is, what if is we can be honest, <laughs> she shouldn't be eating that. No, she should not be having the Sunday. The bacon Sunday. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Too many calories. Do you want to try some? 
<laughs> no. No. She's retarded. You don't share dairy. I don't share dairy. She's, she's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, how did I get so lucky? Wow. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I gotta take a break. I gotta take a break. All right, break over. <laughs> oh. She's very theatrical. Oh, yeah. This is the best. Oh, stir it up. Stir it up, baby. <laughs> Yeah. I think that's my new favorite. That happy. I feel like I'm going to appreciate that clip a lot the next time I see it. Yeah. Like I feel like I like it a lot already. Jeez. Oh, I felt that way before. Like yeah. you know when you've been alone and you felt that way. Yes. When you're eating. Especially with food. Yeah. yeah food's one of those things where you, sometimes you go like, especially if you're alone and there's no one to be like, you gotta try a bite of this. I know. You know? And I have been several times. Yeah. Yeah. If I've wanted to do the exact same thing. You ever want to do this? If there's barf. Oh, you did this. And this is Sepulveda Boulevard. <laughs> hey, it's LA. <laughs> yep, that's LA for you. <laughs> Thinking about moving to LA? Fuck me, Jesus. That's one of the things you can run into here in, in <laughs> Los Angeles. Oh, Jesus! I got your children. Fuck me, Jesus! Fuck me, Jesus! Give me cash for Jesus! Huh. Hmm. What's happening? I got some water for you. It's Jesus water. It's <laughs> a nice Jesus. lady. <laughs> Things aren't well for her. She kind of reminds me a little bit of. Fuck me in my ass, man. <laughs> yeah? It's a female equivalent. Dude, wonder what drugs she's on, huh? She's on some kind of drugs. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck me in the ass. That's so weird. Yeah. Tom Segura, fuck me in my ass, man. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, she's howling. <laughs> Dude, she's smashing the car. <laughs> Get it. Yeah. <laughs> Ride it. Uh. <laughs> right? <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> I love yeah. when people clown on them me too. too. It's the best Fuck part. Me, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Can we hear the homeless guy? Fuck me, my ass, man. That's a good one. Yeah. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. You're good. You're fucking me. You're fucking me, man. You're fucking me. You're fucking so good. Don't. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me in my ass. Fuck me in my ass, man. Shit. 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 Fuck me in my ass, man. Yeah, that guy really mm. does it. And what is the, the cat? Homeless, homeless guy. <laughs> homeless guy gets raped by gay ghosts. Yeah, yeah. That's the name they got of that. taken down from a lot of places, Aww. though. I think b both for its title and content. <laughs> yeah, because the title was Homeless Man Raped by Gay Ghost, which is a really clever Re title. That's why I like he's the alone, clip. You yeah. Know? yeah, it well, didn't so last she, in a lot of places. So is she. Just so you know, the lady we just played is laying on the, the hood of a car. Just Saying, fuck you, Jesus, and fuck me, Jesus. Yeah. And pretending to be fucked and humping the car and yeah. giving a blowjob to the air. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Fuck me, Jesus! <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> We're just mocking people that need help right now. <laughs> Fuck me, Jesus! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it's interesting. Pretty good. <laughs> all right. Um, is there anything else you need, Gene? Anything else? I think I got it all in this episode. Yeah. Oh, boy. Mm. Fuck me, Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys, as always, for listening to the show. <laughs> and... Um, We'll be back soon with another episode, and we might have a guest in here next time. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you at the live shows coming up and on the road, of course, as we keep touring. Oh, this, uh, if you listen to this right away, this Friday I'm doing uh, Joe Rogan, episode 1,000. Bananas. He's at 1,000. That's so crazy, dude. Um, it's myself and Jose Coco Diaz. 
and Joe, and then that night we're going to do a celebration show at the Comedy Store. Super fun. That's going to be a really lot fun. of fun. That's a big show. You guys should no. get your tickets. I don't know if it's no, sold, sold out. out. It's sold oh, out in like mean. three minutes. That's crazy. Yeah. But the podcast will be fun to listen to. The Palmcast. The Palmcast will be very fun to listen to. Um, so check it out. And again, uh, thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye, Gene. Here's uh, the Rub Rub song by DJ <laughs> Boy Butter. <laughs> Thanks, mommies. My right. fellow Americans, there's one mystery we have not yet solved in this country, and that is... Where are all the comments? Where's the coming?